Hello once again and welcome to the Shaggy Sheep Vintage Chick and we're going to be doing a little craft together with chalk couture. So you can see here we have a picture frame. It's inexpensive in the first place but second of all it was inexpensive because I actually bought it at an auction where I got a bunch of them. We're going to flip over the picture frame and we're going to open it up. we're going to remove the backing. We're going to remove the happy pit couple. We're going to remove the inlay. We're going to remove the glass. We're going to bring back the back, removing these two pieces. We don't need them. Using our Mod Podge. We're going to apply a thin coat. Making sure to have ample amount around the edges. Hope everybody's having a good day. Just busy crafting today, getting ready for a Christmas craft fair in November. An inexpensive way to update for Christmas, making your own little crafts. You would end up as beautiful home decor with chalk couture. going to let that sit for just a couple minutes and dry. And we're going to bring up our glass. The easiest way to remove stickers and labels I find is to heat them up a little bit first. 
It reactivates the glue. It tends to make them easier to peel. Just like so. And we're going to grab our Windex. Windows laugh. <coughs> Do you hear it giggle? Windex. Okay, just a second. Where did my transfer go? Oh, bummer. Oh, there it is right there. We're going to take our chalk couture transfer. Running the fingers along the side, you can peel it back. from stencils because they come with an adhesive side already which can be used 8 to 12 times and where in a stencil it's normally open and you've had to weed out the pieces this is a mesh I'm going to lie it down flat I'm going to run my squeegee along it just to get out any air bubbles. This one has been used already once, so I shouldn't have to fuzz it. Those of you that are new and don't know what fuzzing is, fuzzing is when we use our terry cloth towel or our fuzzing sheet and apply this transfer to it, just picking up a tiny bit of lint so that it peels off of our surfaces a little better. We're just working out any air bubbles. Making sure that we're adhered very nicely down. We're going to take our chalk couture, which happens to be a bright white paste. And our stir stick. 
we're going to stir it. We're going to take our mister. Just give it a little bit of water. Stirring it until it's a sour cream consistency. This one tends to be a little chunky. It's getting a, a little dry, I think, on me. It will moisten back up in time. But Left it open a few times too many. I'm going to apply some of the paste. And then we are going to squeegee it across. Just a little bit more. Working quite quickly because it does tend to dry, especially in here, the heater going. It's damp outside, so everything tends to dry a little fast in here. I'm going to scrape off the excess, making sure I've covered all the areas I need to. Setting that aside, a little spritz of water just to keep it from drying out. We're going to set this aside in our water bath. We're going to set this aside to dry. And we're going to bring back our cardboard. Just giving us a nice all wipe. clean up any of my mess that I've left behind. I'm 
And we've got our flannel. layout and set it on there hoping it's as smooth as it can be and as even as it can be I'm going to cut along the edge. With my rotary tool. apparently need to buy some sharper blades. This one's been used for quilting a few times, so. And I apologize for shaking the table a little. Of course you could do that with scissors, but I just find this is faster and easier. Pull this out. I'm going to set my fabric on top. It's just tacky now. I'm going to take my iron and I'm going to iron this on to the cardboard. Now by having that Mod Podge on there first, it's going to glue it and heating it up is going to reactivate that glue. Also take away any wrinkles. Then I'm going to take my glass and lay it on top. And then I'm going to take my picture frame and set it on top, sliding it towards me. 
dropping it down into place. I believe I could trim this away. Maybe not. But it'll be okay. I can just pop this back out. Away any loose edges. Making sure to have this to the right side of my board pushing down my tabs and there's my big reveal and that is very very easy to do anyone can do this isn't that a beautiful Christmas decoration like to thank you for stopping by and watching this taking that half hour out of your time I hope you enjoyed today's craft and I will get you later this is Angie at the shabby chic vintage chick and I'm saying goodbye and have a creative day thank you